So today I want to make an Animoto slideshow of a senior portrait. Uh, I want to get it out the door and I want it to be really high impact, so that's why I'm choosing Animoto. And I'm going to show you how we make that very quickly here inside of Animoto. So if we go into Animoto um, online and log in, I'm just going to hit the create button. Once I've hit the create button, I can either make a marketing video or a memories video. Memories is, the, is the, their way of saying slideshow. That's what I'm going to create. So I'm just going to hit the create button here and then I need to choose a type. So documentary is my favorite because it's very simple, um, but I don't want to use that on this one necessarily. So I'm going to go down to this one, the chic. It kind of put, it's pretty high impact and it's got kind of a blurry, darker background um, where it uses the same photo and kind of makes an interesting background. So that's, what I, that's the one I'm going to use. So I'm clicking on chic and then I'm going to hit, I, I can look and see what it's going to look like, but I'm just going to hit create because I already know what it looks like. And this is where I start to upload. So all I need to do is click on this plus button and I can choose either to do a plus button. I'm going to just choose either photos or text. So obviously I'm going to have to put some text in, but I'll do that in a minute. I'm just going to click on plus and I'm going to upload my content. If I have the images in Lightroom online in my uh, Lightroom mobile application, I can also draw them from there. But I actually have the JPEGs available to me, so I'm just going to click Upload. And by the way, you've got a whole bunch of different options like Smug Mug and Flickr and Instagram and Facebook. Those are all options as well. Let's just click Upload. We're going to go and find those photos which are actually inside of a folder here called briefcase because I was traveling with these and there are the images right there. So I've got really nice high quality images. I'm going to click open and it's just uploading those right now. Excellent. So now once I've got those uploading, I can start to create my text. So I'm going to say M-I-T-C-H-E-L plat and 2018. So that needs to go up towards the front, so I'm just going to drag that up to the top. And at the bottom, I need to make a slide for the musician. I haven't chosen who I'm going to use for the music just yet, so I'm just putting in a slide there, and then once I've chosen that music, then I'll go in and actually put in the musical uh, information about the artist and the song. Um, so I'm going to hit save there. Now I can also put in my logo, but I can either put it in as a photo itself or I can use the add logo option. So uh, that's if I click here and add a logo, I would add an actual slide or I can go up here and say add logo and I'm just going to add my logo to the end of the slideshow. Um, so I have my logos here inside of my Creative Cloud files under Plat Logos. And I'm just going to use this one here and hit Open. Okay, so now that's uploaded that. I need to change the background to black so the entire background is black. And by the way, um, if you're going to do this, make sure that you use a PNG that has transparent background on it so that it will float over the background. So PNG, make sure it's a transparent logo and that will get you uh, in the right place so that your, in, your, your logo floats nicely in the center or wherever it puts it. So now we can add a caption. I don't need an intro logo, so I just want a outro logo. Um, so there, that's on, that's off. And I want it to do this little focus effect, which is quite nice, and hit done. Okay, so now I've got my logo in there. And I can also go in and change the style of this slideshow and go back if I made the mistake. Um, but I like the style that I've chosen. I can add videos to this. You can add videos, so be aware of that. If you have videos, you can go ahead and throw those in. And then you can add text as well. And then once you start highlighting these individual images, 
you can then take an individual image and spotlight it and that's going to hold it longer and do different effects depending on which slideshow style you're using it'll do different effects to it so I'm going to go through and choose the images that I think are the coolest and those are the ones that I'm going to make sure that I spotlight specifically so I'm just spotlighting the ones that I think are the coolest images and Okay, so I've spotlighted my favorite images and notice that because I'm using this Cinema Life Beyond Your Mind song, it's throwing these out because there's not enough space because the song is too long. It says two minutes and 14 seconds. But I'm gonna choose a different song, so I'm gonna go in and upload my own song. Inside of Animoto, I actually have access to um, songs from Triple Scoop Music. So I can actually browse the Triple Scoop Music library. So if I'm looking at these, these are Triple Scoop songs. If I browse their full music library, I can click on Triple Scoop Music and I can see thousands of songs right here. However, not all of Triple Scoop's music is here. And that's why having my unlimited subscription account to Triple Scoop Music allows me to have access to the entire Triple Scoop Music library um, rather than just a small section of the Triple Scoop library. But I'm going to go to my Triple Scoop Music catalog and I'm going to choose the song, the exact song that I want rather than a small subsection of those songs and I'm going to download that specific song. So. Because I'm a subscription member, that means I can look at any song and then simply download it. And so rather than taking a song and having to pay for each song, I'm simply going to download the song that I want and use it for this project. So I need to listen to these songs and find out which one I want. But I, I know uh, that I, generally speaking, want this artist. So this is Krista Young's. Yep, that's the one I want. So I'm going to click on download this song for a project and it's going to ask me about this project. So I'm going to name this Mitch Senior Portrait and for Mitchell and I'm going to describe the project. It's a, a set of it's a set of senior portraits to music and then hit download. So they keep that on file, they know exactly what you're using it for and you are promising that that's what you're going to use it for and you're not going to use it for something else. That's the difference between the purchasing individual songs and using them for 99 years versus the actual subscription plan where each time you make a slideshow you go and download the song again and tell them what am I using that particular song for. That's very important, keeps everybody honest and keeps us all thinking on the same page. So I'm going to hit close here and I've got my song right here. I'm going to show that in the finder. And I'm just going to drag that one right out onto the desktop. And now I'm going to go back to Animoto and I'm going to click on my song. I'm going to change that song, upload a brand new song. And it's going to be on my desktop. It's Krista's song. Hit open. And it is going to be uploading now. All right. Now we have this missing information and it is called Edge of Alive and it's by Chris oops that's a Y it's by Krista Youngs and that's important because then it, people know what the song is and now you can see that I've got 2 minutes and 36 seconds filled of 3 minutes and 19 seconds so now these slides can go back into the mix so I can just drag them in drop them I've got plenty of time and then at the very end I'm going to add a slide 
that I, I like to add it. I think it's the right thing to do. Um, so I'm going to upload a slide and that slide is going to be inside of my logo slides. And it just says that the music is licensed by Triple Scoop Music, uh, which is a great credit to Triple Scoop Music. I love the service that they provide. And also it helps people recognize that I indeed did get licensing rights to use the music so no one's questioning me as to whether or not I just randomly downloaded a song and put it on there. So if I want people to see that I'm using music legally, I'm going to put that on there just, just for that purpose alone, but also because I love Triple Scoop music and I want to show people that this is where I got my music because I'm very proud of that fact. Okay, so now that we have our slideshow pretty much made, then it's just a matter of previewing it. It's going to generate a pretty low resolution preview, but we can see the transitions, see how long things are hanging on, and then if we like it, we just hit produce and we're done. And one thing I forgot to do was to add the actual uh, credit on the musician slide. So I'm going to go ahead and edit that right now. And I'm going to say uh, music by Krista Youngs. And then I'm going to add the name of it in quotes, which is uh, Edge of Alive. I'm going to save that. And then I'm also um, going to just go through and add a couple, like one or two more um, spotlights. And I want to take that and put it at the very end there. Um, and then I always like to do, so I like to have a little credit thing and then I like to have one of the cool photos at the very end. And so I think I'm going to take one of these repeat bicycle photos that I have and I'm going to take it and put it at the very end. So I'm just taking this one all the way down to the end and putting it right there as kind of like a last photograph before the, the end. So another thing you can do is click on this plus button and click text and just add a blank frame. Don't, don't put anything in the text, just simply add the text and then put it before slides. So it'll go from this image to black, then it'll say who wrote the music, and then you can do another slide, save, put it right after that, so that there's just like these little pauses in the, in the actual video. Um, and then it'll show this one, and then we'll put one more, and we'll put that one in between the final image and the slide about uh, triple scoop, and then that, that should work. So I'm going to preview the video again and we'll make sure that I like the way it ends and then we'll go ahead and produce it and distribute it out to you who are watching and to the client. So this is a unique senior portrait because the senior is actually a triathlete that is in world. So he, he actually competes at the world level and so does his cousin. So his cousin is one year older and the two of them as cousins have competed in triathlons together and they've trained together and uh, the one of them just finished worlds and this one is now going to worlds and so you'll see some images where the two of them are together and so there's Mitchell and then there's his cousin Brigham and they're both majorly great triathletes and so this is kind of cool because his senior portrait includes his cousin who he trained with quite a bit so it's, it's kind of a fun thing and you'll that that's why there's an extra guy in there occasionally
Once I've typed in the title and the description, I need to just check that I want it to build all qualities. Um, and 1080 is the one that I absolutely want. So that's the one, uh, but I'm checking all of them so it just builds them all so they're ready to go. And then I hit finish. And it is now producing the slideshow. And now my Animoto slideshow, once it's finished producing it, will be able to be downloaded or shared directly from here. I can embed it on a website. Um, and in my case, I'm gonna feed it all to Vimeo and you'll see it now.